day there and welcome to this Mark's Reviews and Tutorials video. We're working on a drain here. We're um, installing a spar and laying paving all level all the way around it. We've got a drain and if you look here, he's um, just, I don't know if you can tell or not, but he's up at the back and he's tipping that way. So this corner here is very high and this corner here is very low and it's been put into concrete. So we were wanting to try and lift it up to the level so that it was at the top of the paving. But what we're actually gonna do is put the paving right over the top of it. Now this type of drain here, even though you can see a couple of pipes down there, um, one there and one there, these actually, this is just a great big stone pit that this runs into. The water enters here and goes to a big stone pit so the water can all drain away and slowly recede. So what we're actually gonna do, um, because the water does quite freely pass through these pavings around them and there's a lot of groundwater comes in here that we're actually dealing with what we're going to do is cut the black bit away that's just the framing that the metal grid sits on we're actually going to cut all that away because it's too high if you look there at the height of the paving it would actually hit it so we're going to cut it i'm just going to get an a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder and we're going to cut the plastic down in there to cut that top lid, we're gonna take that away and then we're gonna fill the entire thing with rock. We've got a whole lot of rock here ready to go in. And that way, this drain will still operate in exactly the same way, taking the water and um, getting into the great big rock pit that's there to drain the water away. It'll actually work better because groundwater coming, it, it couldn't get into the drain because of this bucket. But um, now with that down lower, um, It'll work. So I'll show you the stages as we go, but we're just going to fill it up with rock and chop that top edge off so that then we're going to be able to pave right across the top and we won't put sand onto the um, top of the stones over the top because that'll just wash through and the paver would sink. I'm actually going to lay the paving stones right onto the rock so that any water that comes along underneath, and as I said, there's gaps in these pavers, so any water won't run right over the top, it'll run down. Um, anything that runs down is going to get into this drain and the drain will be able to do its job. So we've chopped all that away, and I, I do need to break these away as well so they end up below the paver. We'll fill all this with stone, and that drain will still be fully accessible. The water can easily get down there, get down here. It can come from the sides. So you can see there's a stone layer under here as well, so the water can come in here. So this, the drain um, will just work like a French drain. We've um, got him partially filled. You can see I actually put the plastic off cuts in there as well. I put some in front of the pipes just to make sure the stones just don't fill the pipes. Being stones, it wouldn't actually matter, but just keep that all open. And uh, then we fill it up with stones. And as I said, we'll level that off, lay the pavers straight on top, and that'll work great. It's also now gonna take water at this level from here, from that side it'll come. And um, from here, whereas before it was much higher and the water was flowing around that drain. So with the chop topped off it and now becoming a French drain all full of stones, that's going to work great. As I said, you don't put your paving sand over the top because that'll just wash through the stones. Your pavers will sink and it'll block up with sand. We're actually going to um, lay these pavers directly onto the stone so that it'll always be there as a drain. 